Hello you guys, this is Colatius and Latius and for this video, you know late um video I got extremely tired from therapy when I came home so I was incapable of just making the video so I thought since um it's two o'clock six about like eight hours past I feel a little bit up to it. Not completely but also not it's not like I how do I say this? It's not like I am like severely forcing myself to do this video either. So it's in the middle. So the guarding the cupcakes, do you like? Yep, it's gonna get even sweeter because alchemy. So yeah, you confuse a lot of sweets. So there's the wrapper or the thing that came with it. The box, the receipt, and yeah, this one is a bit of an oddball of a release. So. Yeah, I, I obviously did my usual opening. I had to. I looked at the artwork, but not detailed, detailed. So I don't know exactly what's in it because the soundtrack. The soundtrack is always horrible to open if you don't edit your videos. Meaning it could take a while to open. So I had to open it for that very reason, or else, like I said, it could take forever. Oh, I got rid of the glare for you guys. Alright, so first thing first, I love this cover. I love all of it. Second of all, it's not one of those sliding things. It's a box to open. Those are my favorite, not the sliding ones. Alright. <clears throat> so, uh, let's open it. Yes, I uh, put the items out of order. Here it is. First things first, art book time. So the art book is just not a hardcover, but who cares? This is actually a decent sized art book. Alright, so uh, while looking through the art book, I'll explain to you why this is a strange release. About, I think, three years ago, March 2013, I think. So almost three years ago. Gus released it because... Uh, because uh, from Aisha onwards, it was Gus that took over, I guess. Because uh, they did not get any limited edition. Except Atalia Shaley did. So, um, how do I want to say this? First of all, how does that work? It's like, Gus, no, wait, I think this, Koei Tecmo, I'm so confused, but obviously not Nis anymore. It's like they own the series, but how can this release a uh, limited edition? Same, same with the Italia Shaley. I guess um, the company that owns it, they don't care because uh, they're the ones that are printing the game. But Nis is doing the limited edition. <laughs> are they willing to? Because I remember on the forums of Fatal Frame 5, a lot of people begged Xseed to actually release it. Which I guess Xseed could have if they wanted to. So... I guess as long as the company that owns it agrees, the other company who wants it, they could publish a limited edition. I don't know. <laughs> but other than that, if anyone knows, I would like an answer. That would be great. So these are the two main characters. This game, I think, is the only game that does the two-player. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I think Italia Shaley does too, actually. But Italia Shaley, I believe, is two females. This is a, a guy and a girl. So, yeah, this is your other character you can play. And I heard good ones about it from the three of the Dusk series that was re released. Um, this... I'm sorry, I'm scratching my finger with my teeth. <laughs> um, this has the one that's been phrased the most better. Windbell, she's from Aisha. Wow, she's grown a lot. This picture looks wrong. It looks like she's pooping out a uh, her broom. So what I want to say, so yeah, um, I can't, I know, I can't wait to give this a try. Even though I told myself the system, the fusing system, I still don't understand it. But hopefully with the Vita release, I might actually sit my ass down to play because it's a lot easier for me to get into handhelds than television series or unhandhelds, I should say. Ninka, she is from Asia. Marion, I believe she's from Asia too. Harry Olsen. Ah, uh, oh, come on. 
Yeah, obviously he's in Asia too, I believe. Colin, I don't know who that is. Duke Burial? I don't know. Oh, uh, she's definitely in the first game. Like, you kind of see her face in about an hour into the game. Clone. I like that name, Clone. Oh, and she's from the back of the page. This thing. <laughs> so what I want to say, this release is still an oddball. It's really strange only because in America, all the ones that, all the plus series that got released here were all digital. So to have this physical is very strange because I don't think this thing is going to sell that much. I don't. I really know what happened, but wow, the art is amazing. The guy looks pretty cute. <laughs> so I really don't know why this got a limited edition to begin with. <laughs> it's kind of weird. You know, it's like I would like to have an Aisha, di not digital, it's already released digital, um, physical, because I might get back into it and force myself to learn the mechanics of alchemy. We can make cupcakes, yeah. <laughs> So, here's some uh, backgrounds. They look amazing. Here is some more backgrounds. Yeah, I do. I've never played it, even though... Wait, did I skip this page? I feel like I did. I'm sorry. Um, even though I got the game from GameStop, I uh, <laughs> still have never played it. Oh, I think... That's the cover of the back of this. This one's the front. And this here is your cover for the PS3, actually. No, I don't think it matches. Oops, no. It mainly matches more of the Mater limited edition that came with. But, yeah, I like it. It looks amazing. Anything else I did not really open except the CD. So I don't know what's inside of it. Like I said, I did it so I could uh, not open it on camera. <laughs> Lovely. We got uh, surprisingly 30 soundtracks. Oh, wow. Come on, disc. There we go. So here's the inside of what it looks like. She has a funny face. She's like, what? Wow. And he's like, Mm, I'm going to ignore her and just look at the other way. So, really lovely, lovely. And, of course, because my brain wants the discs to be as straight as possible. I, I, I think that's straight, yeah? Alright, here it is. It's not straight. Damn it! <laughs> A little better. Still not straight in my mind, but... Uh, here it is. It's it's awesome. Cool. Yeah, I did my best. But it's great. I like the art of it. Really nice. And it came with a poster that's really big. See? I didn't assemble the poster on purpose so I could do something on camera for you guys. But it's one of my it's like the material that they use it's it's a lot it's really great oh i was hoping the image was the ps3 cover art and thankfully it is i love it sorry it's not flat but uh wow i was seriously hoping that they were going to use that image with the poster because i forgot the image that they were going to use in the poster, even though they had a picture of it on their store. So, very uh, lovely poster. Absolutely loved. How do I close it? Yes, I did it properly. All right. There we go. And last, but not least, I believe, yeah, it's the game. I don't think this has a re reversible cover, but uh, this looks to be the same as the Japanese Vita release. I mean, I don't understand why the other ones did not get physical, but this one did. Is it because this one got good reviews? I don't know. <laughs> it's a mystery. I'll check. Yeah, no reversible cover. Oh, look, the chip is actually got human faces on it. 
Oh my gosh. I know. <coughs> Can you believe it? Physical release of an Atelier, Atelier series. For the Vita, I mean, not the PS3. So, yeah. There you have it, guys. So, hope that you uh, enjoyed this video. And just a quick question. Which is your favorite cover? The PS Vita one or the PS3 one? I, I still like the PS3 one. That's my favorite. Oh, this is the cover that I thought was on here. It's like the last few pages of the art book. Haha. <laughs> so, there you have it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye, you guys.